Hey guys, it's me, Sonic Kidder here, and we're back in the fifth episode of Minecraft Metropolis. So let's get right into things. So I'm on the southern end of the city, and as you can tell, it's all lit up. I recently discovered these new cool lanterns that are all along the park. As you can see, all the stores fronts are finished, and the inside are all complete. It just needs to be furnished with a kitchen and a dining room. This one's the steak restaurant. It has some quartz and this dark strict wood. It's sort of like a Tudor style pattern. Let's move on to the Olive Garden light st store. It's made out of this new I don't know what that's called. Smooth sandstone block that's added recently. The lights are all finished. And then you saw the Starbucks. There's no lanterns on the Starbucks canopy. And then all along the walkway, there's lights now, so it's not dark, so you can go walking here wherever you want. So if we're going back into the downtown area, this building is now complete. There is no interior to it. The floors and all the lights are complete. It's quite a big building. It has a nice floor plan. It's made out of brick. It has a sort of rustic style. I didn't want to uh, struck the views of the top floor so I didn't add the elevator going up to it. There's just stairs and it has really cool views of the surrounding city with the glass down. Moving on to the next building that's now finished. This building has an actual interior, the X Diamond building. You walk in with the double doors and you're immediate with like the sort of like receptionist area and then there's some desks over here with the some offices can work there. There's some jungle they use for decoration and right here is where some of the interns could work. And over here is the elevator going up to the second floor is a giant meeting room with some roses in the center. I think it's like 16 people. And here's some sort of like coffee bars. You can get some coffee to drink during the meeting. And here's the offices, some higher end offices. And then you can see it outside. That's where that noise is coming from. So that's the X Diamond building for you. It has sort of like an outdoor patio where people can just eat their lunch or just relax between meetings. And then there's some seating right there and there's some more leaves just as decoration. I think I might take those out because cows keep on spawning. As you can see, they're quite annoying. So if you haven't been paying attention, I've added a lot of details throughout the city. And this video, I started adding a whole bunch of trees to make it feel established. There's a, some tall oak trees. And then I added some spruce trees over here because there are some towers over here. I didn't like them hitting. And I added trees right here and then over there. And more spruce trees are over here. And then there's more spruce, actually oak trees all along here. And this is now finished right here. The entire campus for this insanely huge building. 
I'm going to continue all this stonework so like it protects it from rising sea levels in the future. So this is the lobby of one of the two entrances. You can go up to the tallest floor and then you are in the main area. There's another elevator over here in which you can go down to this floor and it's sort of like hanging here. Go back to the main floor and then we can go up to some more floors. Right here you have a cool view of the overhang. There's the view of the ocean. Down one more floor is the actual overhang. It has a water fountain. I showed you in the la this in the last video. Now let's go up to the very top floor of this. And then we can go into an elevator right here. That takes us into a, another overhang, the identical to the one that's below, just in a different position. We're up on the top floor. This is overlooking the ocean and this is overlooking the city. You can see what other things I've been working on. We're going to go down to the very bottom floor. There's quite a few elevators you have to take to get out of this building. So if there's ever a attack, you're going to have to be a pro getting out of this building because there's no stairs. I hope there is never an attack by the villagers. But you never know, those villagers can get aggressive. There's no villagers in the city right now. I haven't let them come in yet. There's a cool view of that building. Now, we're, I'm in the process of extending all these roads. I connected all these roads right here and there's another overhang, but this one has some sidewalks where people can walk over and then I'm going to build another road over here and build a whole bunch more office skyscrapers and residential buildings. And I'm thinking about building a huge stadium over here. Leave your comments down below. Should I do football, soc soccer, baseball, rugby, you name it, and I'll see what I can do and come up with ideas, and maybe I'll have it in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!